Hello, hello, you guys. What's up? I'm going to wait a little bit for everyone to join. I'm going to do a webinar for a while now. Hey, Svotislav, what's up, man? Good to catch up. I will just say, and I will repeat it in a bit uh, once again, you have, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on my screen, but you have a QA and a uh, kind of rubrica where you can upload any questions you might have, where other attendees can, can see it. And you can upvote more important questions, so I will, I will know better uh, what question we're going to go over. And the idea is that you know, it's just a general webinar. I'm here to answer any question, any update of anything that's uh, going on. And we'll try to go over the basic and at least go over uh, some deep stuff uh, of scaling, of what you need to have in order to scale what's going on now etc etc so i'm just going to give it one more minute minute and and again there is a place where you can uh, either chat or upload questions it will be great if you're gonna write down some questions so i will know where to go except the basic that i want to uh, follow up on uh, in the meantime, what I will do is uh, open up a poll uh, and it will be great if you're going to answer just a few questions. Again, in parallel, uh, try to upload any question that you might have. I cannot hear you, so the only way I can talk with you is via either chat or Q&A. So I will chit chat in the meantime. So Shines, uh, probably you know what we do. Uh, 2020 was a nice ride for us. Uh, you know, it started really good. I'm talking about 2020, COVID year. Uh, it started really good in Q1. And then somewhere in March, I think it was March 7 all RPMs uh, crashed. Um, I'm gonna explain a bit why. We're based a, lo a lot on you know big brands like booking.com that might be, I think it's the biggest buyer for Google Ads, uh, which we monetize with edX, AdSense, etc. cetera. Um, so we saw a big drop in, in March, then April, then towards the end of May 2020, things started to recover. Uh, and I think since then, June, July, August, and up to Q4, things were booming. Uh, as you know, everyone was advertising in really, really a uh, high budget and it affected us as well. Um, then 2021 started also pretty neat. Uh, continued the trend from 2020. Uh, we did see some downtrend on Q2. Uh, it was weaker than expected, uh, but we just started Q3. Um, and yeah, up till July 4th, uh, where it was, especially in US, it was an amazing result. We did see some downtrend last week that already recovered this week. And we do expect, you know, Q3 and Q4 2021 to be not less big than 2020. Cool, so I see many of you voted. I'm gonna keep the poll uh, open for a bit more. Uh, and the idea is that I will know who is here and what should I talk about uh, more. So I see uh, many of you are here uh, just a few weeks, a few OGs I see too. Um, almost 
60% managed to generate profitable ad. Uh, so we're gonna focus on the rest, 40% uh, as well to understand why you did not and where, where you should aim. Uh, most of you do ecom uh, or did ecom in the past. It's funny, no one did black hat. That's strange. And uh, fifty percent specialize on Facebook, and the rest mostly on, uh, let's say, low tier uh, traffic sources like push, pop, redirect. That's fantastic. Cool. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep the poll open for now. Whoever join, I see some people still join. And we're going to go over some general uh, overview on the platform. And then I see some of you upload question, questions. Uh, I'm going to go over it in just few, a few minutes, I promise. Uh, so the basic, basic stuff that we, we you should know, it's obviously uh, the portal. That's kind of, I like to call it our offer wall. If you go into other... Uh, affiliate networks, whatever, you go into an offer wall and you can choose the offer. On our side, it's a bit different. The offer is an article where we promote. We have one goal, and that's that people will stay and read the article as long as possible. And there are two combinations to it. One, that we will write good content that make you engage, make the user stay in the page as long as possible. So we will be able to read, uh, to show them as many ads we can. And the other side will be using the right creative. So I cannot use a misleading creative, uh, you know, that promised me that, I don't know, someone is naked inside, picture that you won't believe that happened, uh, someone is pregnant when it is not, etc., etc. This will cause high bounce rate. Um, so the combination of two, you know, good content that make you engage and a good creative that again is relevant, is um, have good CTR, low CPC. It's not misleading. It's compliant. Uh, this is the combination uh, that you want to get. Um, and that's kind of the, the, you know, the biggest missing puzzle, uh, part of the puzzle that we need. So we need to know how to create content, we know how to monetize, we know how to track, but each article uh, will, you know, will rise and fall just by finding a creative. Uh, I would say that copycat a creative. Uh, is less good than bringing a new original one. So it's easy to go. Uh, I'm going to show you there is many, you know, Facebook aid library, you can get good ideas, but there are two points here. One, if you copy a creative that is after being disabled, even on another business manager, another ad account, Facebook know how to connect it and it will disable your ads and potentially your accounts or BM. Uh, so it's always better, even if you want to kind of copy. So you have to take it to edit it, edit the text, edit the picture in some way, and just then upload it. So this is a good point you, that you should follow. Anyway, here you can choose different articles. The first one will be the new, uh, newest that we upload. Uh, and you can go all the way back. Uh, we have here more than... I estimate more than 1,000 articles in English and also in translation. If it's translated, I can show you how it will look. Usually, if it's translated, uh, you're going to see it on this side. So you will see that there is translation uh, on different languages. The article code is usually those five letters. This is the language. Uh, so here, if it's finished with FR, it's in French. ES, it's in Spanish. And then you can click on it and create the link on the right, uh, right language. Uh, more than that, we have many, many guides here. Lots of guides. Sometimes you ask questions that already in the guides. 
uh, either in the guides or in our YouTube. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube, that's really, really a good knowledge base. It's not open to all, only to our partners. A very basic and very deep, uh, you know, all the things that we learn. Uh, some things that I will repeat here in the in the Q and A webinar, I guess, is already uh, in past webinars or past uh, guides that I did. Uh, so make sure you go deep into it uh, and learn. Uh, cool. So I'm gonna stop the poll. Uh, I think most of you uh, voted. Not most of you, sixty percent. But that's pretty much giving me idea on where to focus. Uh, cool. And I see that you already started um, to upload some questions. So let's go go over it. El Khalifa, I hope I say it right, mate. Uh, asking me what are the results with iOS 14 update? Uh, so funny thing, uh, Compared to the rest of the industry and the rest of the affiliates, iOS affected really, really good on our side. What I think that happened is that, um, that basically lots of advertisers went down from buying iOS traffic, which helped us buy in, in lower CPCs. Uh, while the monetization for the big brand, the one that, you know, again, I mentioned Google, uh, uh, Booking or Nike, or I'm just throwing big names, Volvo, whatever, uh, only care about, you know, impression, stay the same. So the budget stayed the same, but the buying side, specifically on Facebook, went down. Uh, I, I mean, in the price. Therefore, the, the margin, the over margin went up. So I think that what happened is that because of the iOS update, we started to follow up on the iOS uh, traffic and we figure it out, it's working even better. So in the past, I used to kind of recommend to target either all mobile traffic or only Android. Uh, and in the past months, special, specifically, uh, specifically from the iOS update, we, we target either together or just Android or just iOS separately. So overall, we see really positive uh, impact on our bees. There is another question. What are the traffic source to work the same as Facebook? Facebook accounts are troublesome to maintain. Yeah, okay. To be honest, specifically on us, our vertical uh, and specifically for our partners, Facebook is the best option by far. That's as true as it can be. Uh, the margin is better. The scale is better. Uh, the targeting is better. Uh, using our pixel works better uh, than the rest. Uh, and to be profitable is taking much less effort uh, if you do it right. You don't need to spend like hundreds of dollars in, in becoming profitable. Uh, uh, so I will insist on and the Facebook accounts are troublesome. I agree. The main issue there is that it's not only for our vertical, you have to get an agency account, manage account, verified account, whatever that is completely white. And what we run is, is completely white. It's allowed to run content. And the main issue that the, the reason that uh, accounts went down, are going down is because we as marketer use a bit clickbaity kind of headlines or using celebs or whatever that is very similar to what people that do blackhead, crypto or whatever are using. So if your account is not verified and is not through an agency, Facebook automatically think that you are doing something wrong and they taking the account down. I will throw it here. We do have a plan to start 
you know, integrating our agency account to our affiliates. So again, we, we're giving you the content, we are taking care of the monetization, the tracking, uh, and the last uh, part will be taking care of the accounts. Uh, we are experimenting uh, it now with few partners uh, where you can upload uh, campaigns via an API on our system, and then posing or changing budget uh, from our tracking system, where you won't need, you know, getting a business manager or verified or whatever. I cannot promise it will be in the next few weeks, but there is still a, a long way to, to understand how we do it right easily uh, and manage to follow. And obviously when you buy on our accounts, we found it. Uh, I mean, we pay for the traffic. So how it is working, if you're, uh, you know, if you're a negative profit or if you're losing, how we can do that. So we need to still work on, on the method. So I'm bumbling a lot. Uh, bottom line, there is no traffic source that's worked the same as Facebook. Facebook is Facebook. We hate it and we love it uh, for, from the same reason. Uh, and for Facebook accounts, it's becoming more easy to get seats on agency account, on manage account. Uh, all over the world, we have uh, partners from India that have agency account. We have partners from Europe, uh, different places that have agency account. And we have partners from the US that have agency account. So open your eyes, open your ears, ask around agency want to 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 get people in uh, and all you usually you pay a small percentage of the cost and it's totally worth it so it might be three percent or five percent on the cost of the account uh, and yeah on facebook the margin is good enough that you can you can still enjoy it in scale so facebook is our best traffic source Again, for, for affiliates, for partners. Um, I'm gonna say a few words on, on other traffic source in a second. We have to work on manage agency verify. Hope that answer the question. Um, another question that is coming. Wait, I see someone send me a chat. Let's see. Daniel, what's up, man? I think running on native. Is it worth try? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna jump to this question. It's in the chat. Uh, can you give any tips regarding running on native? Is it worth to try? Native, think about okay, let's go back a bit outbrain and tabula the biggest native uh, traffic sources out there are israelis and and they raise and build themselves based on our type of companies promoting content so the basic native kind of companies was working on a you know Companies like us that do arbitrage on the content and that was recommended content. That's what it is. Uh, so they change it and now you use editorial for e-commerce or for leads or whatever, but basic was content. So native is huge in our industry and other companies that are bigger than us are spending like tons on native, uh, both on Tabula and Outbrain. Uh, I know that some players spend like 100k daily uh, on tabula doing arbitrage. But with that said, you have to have tools. Uh, so starting like that, again, like Facebook, you have to have an account manager and be managed. And then the policy is a bit more loose. And then you have to have some, um, some automation tools specifically on uploading massively amount of campaign and changing bids while you sleep and changing bids or pausing publisher and sub publisher 
uh, while you are sleeping and they are dropping, et cetera, et cetera. So we, is it worth running native? Yes. Is it worth running native without knowing the business? No. Is it worth uh, running native without seeing some success maybe on Facebook? No. Is it worth running native if I don't have any automation tool or uh, uh, API, stop losses, et cetera, et cetera? No. But is it worth running native if you have all the above? Yeah, man. People are crashing it. It's just not easy as Facebook. Hope, hope I, I answer it, Daniel. Um, I have another question. How ZPC is now in terms of our is concerned that is average percent now? I'm, I'm not completely understand in terms of our is concerned what is the average percent now? Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to show you. It's really a broad question because what is the EPC in what geos on what, whatever, but I'm going to share some numbers and I prepare a uh, second. Cool, so this is uh, US yesterday. And you can see, you know, few ads. Uh, in the past we used to run, and if you saw my, my presentation before, we used to run in a different methods where we, uh, we were able to scale one ad to few K a days um, in just matter of days, uh, but it doesn't seem to work like that anymore, where you need a lot of small ads uh, running. Uh, so you can see a few ads yesterday. Again, the spend is not huge, but the ROS is pretty solid. Uh, this is after our ref share, so what you see is what our partner um, sees. Uh, so there are many ads that are working pretty well. Um, again, if you buy in low CPC, you will get lower EPC. Uh, but then if you buy in a bit more expensive, uh, let me search for something that have solid uh, EPCs. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty, pretty what's going on. So you can hit the 40, 50% uh, uh, ROI. It's really, really depend on your creative. So CTRs, as you can see, have to be 10% and more. And that's kind of a, a, a finger rule. Uh, page RPM are not huge, uh, but they are on the rise. Uh, so whenever you see, you know, ads that have over one, a dollar 1.213 in RPM, that's good ads. Uh, and again, uh, we are, that's looking on, you know, uh, we are on Monday, uh, so it's not the best day to check those, but it should be on the rise. So there are some numbers that can explain you how is the EPC now. So not in the peak. And, th and th those kind of ads, like running $100, $200 and being profitable, that should be easy to, to achieve if you're going to test enough creative, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, <clears throat> okay. As being a newbie, my company, Facebook Business Manager, got disabled once, 28 in November and ticket is still open. No one from Facebook is replying. I managed to go within two months. My question is how you manage, how you guys manage Facebook account as you guys are experienced with Facebook ads. Any tips? I answered it just before. You have to have managed account. You have to be verified. You need to work by their rule. It seems that they don't, don't care about the small businesses uh, too much. Uh, so you have to get an agency account. And if the ticket is open since November, it won't be closed and your account won't be returned. Uh, how can I say gently? They are fuckers. And that's it. Uh, so you have to get 
uh, accounts and it's like the chicken and the egg. If you're not having accounts, you cannot make money. If you're not making money, you cannot get into agency, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but as mentioned, we are trying to solve it and, and, and hopefully we will be able to help you uh, soon. So my answer will be exactly the same. You have to work with manage agency, verify BMs. Uh, any quick fixes? I'm going to the chat. Um, Steve, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to read it from the chat. Any quick fixes for the lowest CPCs on Facebook other than creative? Creative is the king, man. If you're going to have good creative, it's going to work. With that said, in Facebook specifically, it's also depends on your Facebook quality, on your BM quality uh, or whatever. Um, you want to, uh, the general workflow will be testing a lot of creative with low EPC goal. I hope everyone understand what it is. Low EPC goal will be low uh, low EPC targeting, uh, meaning I'm, I'm searching for user who just making, you know, four or five cents EPC, even less. And the idea is to have a very broad audience. And as long as the audience is more broad, your CPC will be lower. Then once I have it, and I know the creative is a winner, I'm going to phase two where I'm, I'm duplicating it to different uh, audiences. And that's easy. Once I have a creative that buying three, four, five cents CPC, I'm talking specifically on US mobile, but not only, uh, I'm able to make it uh, profitable really, really fast. But it seems like the hardest part for most of you will be finding this creative. Uh, you need to test a lot and to test fast. Uh, hey there, we see huge difference between GA sessions and Facebook clicks, around 50% of differences. You have a, such an issue. Um, I will need you to reply. Are you talking about in general or are you talking about uh, like general in your... Um, your sites or general with us. For us, the different the discrepancy between Facebook um, and GA, we don't work with Google Analytics. We work with our own analytics, but it's usually up to 10% and that's normal. If it's 50% loss, I'm not sure. Maybe it's something in the loading time of your website, etc. So yeah, I will need you to reply. Where do you see it? As we do not. Okay, someone is asking what sort of ads might work on Legion campaigns on Tabula. Uh, sorry, man, I'm not sure I'm the guy to tell you. I can help you with what sort of ads you can make money making content. So that's the, the question. The, the, this webinar is not about Legion or anything like that so sorry uh, another one for beginners is it better to target worldwide focus guide by the way you can upvote uh, the question in the q a part so it will be easier for me to answer the most important one first uh, for the for beginners is it better uh, to target worldwide or focus on us or uk can affiliate suggest some original content to Shine's team? So targeting, starting from US mobile, that's really, again, a very basic and easy way to get profitable on low scale. So US mobile, that's where you wanna be on your first ad as a beginner. We have a very clear method on how you, you need, what the method you need to, what the, phases you need to pass in order to make pro profitable ads uh, where again it start on finding a winner creative which is not an easy task but it's not a very hard one too and so us mobile in the beginning once you understand that once you have it 
then you can start, you know, taking this creative to translated content to different geos, to worldwide English, to worldwide Spanish, to US Spanish. So again, once you have this in, in this creative in, in your hand, it's really, really easy. And we are do operate in the blue ocean kind of area. So there is endless opportunities if you have the right creative. Uh, so as a beginner, focus on US mobile after move to different videos. And the other question is, Where are you? Where are you? Uh, can affiliates suggest some original content to Shine Steam? Yeah, for sure. You can always send it. And I will say even more, uh, some of our biggest partners do something like reverse engineering. They are testing creative, coming, coming to us with the winner creative, and we build a whole article around it. So again, we know how to do a lot of stuff on the other side, content monetization, etc. If you have a, 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 a creative, we can build a whole article around it because this is the missing part, part of the puzzle. So yeah, feel free to suggest. I don't, I don't promise it will, um, uh, we will accept it, but usually if you will have proofs like, you know, I have this creative, it's working really well, well we're gonna find you a solution, either a, article we already have and we're going to add slide to or we're going to build a whole article around it and based on you tested okay cool lots of questions just wonder if anyone here bought verified bms does it work the same as agency account uh, so you guys can answer him if you have any experience. Uh, it's the first question at the moment. Um, so I'm not sure it's the same as agency account, a uh, verified one, but, but the, it's definitely better than not verified. Uh, and not always, not all the agency accounts are verified, but not all the verified are agency. Does it make sense? Yeah. Is automatic placement work better than Facebook exclude Instagram? Read somewhere that a lot of ad inventory moved to Instagram. Um, yeah, we at the moment we change it only to automatic placements. Uh, we used to exclude uh, Instagram. Uh, but not anymore. Uh, so again, something changed. The prices went a bit down for, for our type of content. So we do all the always automatic placement across the board. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving the agency verified BM question. Any quick fixes for low CPC on Facebook other than creatives? I think I answer it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't write, but creative is the key. Key, uh, and I will show you. Uh, uh, there is a very good. Uh, yeah. YouTube video I did worth testing. It's called from losing 2K to 14K profit. It's from last year, it's still existing. But what I'm gonna show you here is that there are many, many uh, affected to, uh, to creative. So it's your ad account, your fan page, your business manager, your creative, I think it's pretty big. Uh, and then, you know, which devices, the placement don't says, so there's a lot of combination that affect your CPC, 
but a winner creative a good creative will be uploaded on uh, we will do the game uh, so what they can do is also share this link so you can jump to it straight away creative is the key and i'm giving you the link to the youtube channel and to the youtube uh, video we have experience um that eventually in a few weeks our best performing campaign on facebook on insurance dies out what can we do to bring it back hmm. maybe i'm not i wasn't clear in the invitation of the webinar but it's specifically to shines uh, if you ask me, you need to change the angle for sure. You need to test a lot more. And if it dies out, you just covered all your audiences. So that's really pretty easy. No trines. Test. No, not magic. No magic over there. Okay, I see one more in the chat. Will this die? What's up, man? Will be this upload to the channel? Yeah, I think so. I think it's being recorded, so why not? I can upload it too. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. We'll find, do you think Facebook BM cannot enable you to get lower CPCs? If you mean specific Facebook BMs or general, I think Facebook does have you know, his own strikes and and um, is if they are not happy with your quality account quality, they will make sure that you will get a higher kind of CPCs. So yeah, as mentioned before, changing your ad account BM might affect the CPCs as well. So yes, for sure. Which format of ads is the most effective, dynamic creative or carousel or static? Uh, so that's a good question. We usually, we usually start with dynamic uh, in order to test a lot of creative relatively fast. Uh, and we're gonna then take the most um, successful ads and use it as static. We don't really use carousel. I don't think it's, it's working for us, but it's worth testing. So dynamic to static. <clears throat> okay. How much do you recommend to spend on a test phase? What the optimal daily budget? Do you use wide audience or neural? on the test phase again we're gonna use the most uh, we're gonna use the most uh, wide um uh, the most wide targeting on the test phase my goal is to help facebook giving me the lowest cpc possible so i'm going to target as wide as possible and um, and let's say as mentioned before, we do um, we start with dynamic creative. It will be around uh, two three dollar per an image that we test. So, and I'm not going to test more than five six images and you know three four headlines slash text. So, obviously, it's going to be around fifteen dollar to a, a dynamic creative testing for a day, uh, hopefully for a full day. Uh, and and that's it. If it's not on the right direction, I might kill it in a few hours or after one day. So three to five dollar per ad. Uh, again, ad it might have few ads in the dynamic rate. Um, anything you suggest to pick? any type of article to start off with. Also, US being saturated, Mario, do you suggest we should target other English countries? Again, regarding article picks, so once you can tell us 
uh, and ask us and we're gonna send you the most trend, trending one. But the most important is, you know, that it will be an article that you somehow feel related to and you, you are having fun to work on the creative. It shouldn't be, you know, we are, we are making fun content, viral content, happy content, whatever. Uh, you should feel related and then you will have more drive to test more and more creative, the, the more angles that might work. Uh, so whenever you want top articles at the moment, I can share it with you or you can test or you can check it uh, in the portal. Uh, you can see different verticals over here and you can see also the topics of the weeks that is being updated once a week. Uh, and it's really, really nice. Um, regarding a US saturated market, yeah, but it's a huge market. Yeah, like on the basic ads, we're targeting 200, 300 million users. Um, it's not that saturated. Uh, so we're still making pretty solid money. Uh, so pick an article, articles, ask us. Uh, for the test, the testing phase. Again, the testing phase, I only want to get you know, good creative. I'm going to test it on US mobile. Um, I shouldn't lose more and I won't be super profitable. But after I might take this creative and test it on other English speaking countries. Um, any ideas how to get volume from desktop devices on Facebook? At the moment, uh, desktop is seem pretty weak also for us. It used to be a very big po portion of the traffic. I'm not sure what, uh, if the prices really went up on Facebook uh, and our monetization decreased or whatever, but we still don't see great result on, on desktop. So let's focus on mobile. Once we see something, it might change in a month time or like, you know, it's changing all the time. Uh, so obviously everyone will know uh, at the moment, desktop not working great as mobile, let's say. Can you share the libraries from your tabs? Not for copying, but just to get some ideas. Of course, um, I'm here in order to show you so let's go over a few and we're going to talk about creative at the, at the beginning. Uh, yeah, I'm going to copy. Opa. One second, the light. I'm going to copy the all the ad library uh, to links to your answers. So one. This is a good one. So I shared it and we can go over it. At the moment, we talked about Facebook and account getting banned. Um, so think that if you ask Facebook, you need to understand that if you're kind of hiding the image of, of the, of the uh, creative and just from the headline, you should uh, understand what the article is about. So I'm not sure all of those are a great example, but but as you can see, in this time in social media, everyone is connected, but what if someone reach out and they turn out to be really weird? We've decided to expose 40 screenshots of the some of the weirdest, creepiest private messages people have received. So I know exactly what's going on in the article. I know I'm going to show, um, they, they're going to show me 40 screenshots of some of the weirdest. I'm not withholding any information or whatever. Um, does everyone feel like people take picture of you? They always turn out to be worse than take picture of yourself. That's simply because angles are ev everything. This dirty picture proves how important the position of the camera can be. So, yeah. Pretty solid. Uh, you can see that the text is long. There is no emojis. There is no withholding. Let's say that's pretty aggressive. Nothing says welcome quite like a well thought 
out and creative sign from loved one. Here is a funny airport fix sign capture on camera. I think that if it was running not on managed account or verified account, it was already being blocked, right? But when you are an agency account, that's that's allowed. Uh, also, you can see that it's in a collage. So the, the amount of skin or sexiness in the picture is really, really low. Another trick that people do is putting the text here. So we think that this text is not being monitored. And that's why you can be a bit more aggressive on the text on the picture. Uh, so you can see, but you can see that the different on the creative that many of you don't use. It's long creative and it's taking a lot of tests and a lot of ads to upload uh, in order to make it happen. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's just, just an example. So I shared all the creative, all the ad libraries. If you want more, you can ask for me in private and, and I will answer. Any source where I can get Facebook agency account? We don't have any sources that we can we can give out. We are managed ourselves, uh, so we are not able to give you or sources. We are not dealing with this matter. Uh, but I know that other people get those accounts. So get along on you know forums uh, or ask other affiliates friend. I'm sure someone knows something and then can help you out. Uh, so ask around. Mentioned before, in the future, we plan to cover that as well, but I'm not sure when. Um, George, hello, I've been trying to reach out. I understand the business model i just simply promote your content and monetize it accordingly there are new resources i can check out yeah man for sure check youtube just check youtube i have a lot of content there type hand canine or shines and you're going to see a lot of knowledge over there uh, we also have a very simple fuck which is being fuck Frequently asked questions that you can check. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go over the question quick and we go, we need to sum it up. So, um, if Facebook page engagement is better, but um, but a lot of negative comments. Do you think that affect the CPC? Yes, for sure. It will also get your account banned. Account quality will go down. Um, Recently verified the fan pages are getting banned even with compliant ad. Why is that? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I saw other partners saying about it. We don't see it really, so I'm not sure. Does does your business manager is verified too? Because I guess the fan page is not is not enough. Sure. Facebook algo is an idiot algo. It's a very smart and annoying, false positive one. So it might be that. I think you should record a video about the campaign creation from testing to scaling to give newbies a clear uh, view on how this work. Got it. I'm yeah, sure we might think about something like that. Uh, with that said, again, a lot of knowledge. If you invest your time, you have steps to go on live on Facebook, exactly how, how to work. Uh, exactly how the Facebook campaign tutorial should look like when uploading. Uh, and then the next step, we'll check in our YouTube, where you can go subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and there is a lot of scaling uh, past webinar. It's still working the same quick scaling webinar from losing 2K to 14K and other webinars over here that you can check. Uh, how do I set my payment to receive my commission? Please check our FAQ. In the end of the month, you're going to send us, uh, we're going to send you the numbers. You're going to reply with an invoice and we're going to pay you. Uh, also, if Facebook fan page engaging better, but a lot of negative comments, I think I answer it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Uda, it's really, really good. As mentioned in the beginning, uh, he's asking about uh, they're running for one year. The CPR cost per result is increasing while uh, uh, while they scale. Uh, at the moment, the best scaling method is a lot of small ads rather than one big one. So scale by duplicating under the same campaign the same ad set let's say can i use image from the article of course you should uh, how to deal with negative comments responding or hiding the comments that's a good question i'm also uh, i think you should answer all comments on 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 really all the comments that you might have on the fan page a negative and positive one uh, and yeah i think hiding or deleting will affect uh, the account quality that's what i think so you should answer all the comments uh, also here again i'm, I'm throwing and uh, taking you to the guides so there is a fan page maintenance, a very, uh, a very clear uh, guide. A second, very clear guide on how to maintain the page, the fan page, and and also here review and reply user comments on daily basis. Talk to your users, no matter if the comments are good or bad. Reply, why not? Maybe we'll even build a community. So think about Facebook, think about the goal. The goal is not making money with Chise. The goal is to have fun with the user, make a community. Uh, you should answer all of them. Can we use our Facebook chatbot as a traffic sources? Yes. Yes, you should. Yes, you can. Usually, if it's not classical Facebook, I uh, think you should pass prog in the beginning and then we'll see the quality and if it's fine we don't have a problem so you can test any traffic source on low volume uh, it should have solid engagement and of course no bot uh, not no chat bots but no bots on the other side like you see on push or pop traffic uh, we can really with a really low amount of traffic we can analyze it and give you a feedback uh, so whenever you test a different uh, traffic source on the URL creator, what you should do is choose uh, other and then put your traffic source. And you should ask me before what to put here because not all the string will be accepted. Uh, if you don't know what's the URL creator, you should go over the guides too. Uh, for my creative ads, can I use images from the article? So yes, I think again I answer it, but whatever. In general, how long should be testing phase? After how many days we can take a call or posing campaign? Few hours to two days, three days max. So let's say I upload it now. I want to give it tomorrow full day, and then the day after to decide if I want to pose it or not. So I will have no more than 30 hours 34 hours to take a decision and that's again if things look fine in the beginning if i'm starting and after a few hours i'm already you know buying in a huge cpc and getting a huge cpm 
I'm gonna pause it in, in a few hours. Uh, so I will say, and no more than 34 hours uh, to take action and at least 200 sessions. Looks really bad. Was it before? Cool, cool, cool. So verified by HBMs. Uh, I think we covered all the questions that you have. Uh, go into the question, go into the result, uh, try to uh, uh, see the links that I sent or whatever. I see one more question. So it's it gonna be the last one. Many of my campaigns are green on some days and dying out on science with same budget. So making my decision to pause or let them be active, what do you suggest? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. So they are profitable and then suddenly they are not profitable. I might do two stuff, two things and will be decreasing the budget to really low budget that I won't lose much like five, $10. If I think the creative is still performing, but the EPCs only is being down and it might be, go up because it's Monday, because it's the beginning of the month or whatever. So I can do both. I can lower the budget uh, and I can start testing the same creative with new campaigns on different audiences, and etc. cetera, et cetera. Uh, Feel free to hit me up uh, on Skype if you have more questions. Uh, I'm not going to answer very basic question. I'm going to send you to, you know, knowledge guides that we have either on YouTube or on, on the blog that we have. Um, but yeah, take advantage of it. We're going to appreciate and we're going to give more attention to people who invest sometimes on understanding what we do and read the, the guides that we do. Obviously, it will help us talk in a very... A more professional level with you. And yeah, I think that's that. It was very first hour. I think it was flying like that. I hope I answer all questions. I hope I help anyone. And I think you can find my Skype pretty easily. If not, you can send me an email. I will add you. Uh, feel free to talk with me. Uh, I guess with most of you, uh, I have a group with your AM as well. If you don't, you can request and I will be happy to join and to help you in person. Uh, yeah, good luck to us in this Q3. Thank you so much for your time. Yalla bye. Thank you, Jamie.